Donald Trump uh, today meeting privately with the evangelical leaders. And, and just a short time ago, the Trump campaign announced an evangelical advisory board. But th there was some tense moments after the event today uh, when evangelical leader Deborah Fikes uh, endorsed Hillary Clinton and said, Mr. Trump's proposals are not just unchristian, they're un-American. Kelly Shackelford is one of the leaders who met with Trump this morning, and he joins me now. Kelly, um, <clears throat> overall, the tone uh, of the meeting, give us a sense of, 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 of what it was like. I think it was really positive. Um, I think the best summary I can give is that I've been doing religious freedoms work for 27 years, so I know a lot of the faith leaders, these national leaders. I've never seen this large of a group of these leaders all come together. And then for a presidential candidate to actually come together to meet with them. I think there is a real conversation. None of these people had supported Trump in the past. They were like supporting different candidates or nobody at all. And they really appreciated there was a certain humility in what he did and how he reacted. And uh, I think it was a uh, people saying here's what's important to us and wanting to hear how he reacted. And I think I think it was really smart for him, really shrewd move on his behalf, right. and I think he made a lot of friends. Well, I guess humility is one of the, a, a good word to use here because I think the reason perhaps, and you can correct me, some of the evangelicals were uh, maybe endorsing others during the GOP primary was comments that Trump made, and for instance, never asking for forgiveness. Right. Uh, you know, I don't know. That's a sticky issue for a lot of, lot of people, uh, people of faith that you would think that you were perhaps above God or that at some point you could be 70 years old and not once in your life did you ever have to ask God for forgiveness? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody who, uh, the basics of Christianity is we all need forgiveness. And, uh, but it started out, the meeting started out, uh, first uh, you had Reverend Graham doing a prayer and pointing out people like David who, you know, committed adultery and murder and t talked about how the Bible highlights a lot of these great leaders who made some mistakes in their past and we started by saying, you know, we're all sinners. So let's start out with prayer. And let's talk about the issues. And so, and the other thing that uh, Huckabee did, Governor Huckabee did, is he started out by saying, really speaking to Donald Trump and saying, I want you to understand there's some great theologians in the room here, but they're not here to ask you about your theology. So don't feel any pressure to get into that. We're talking about the issues. Uh, leaders of, you know, sanctity of life groups, of religious liberty groups, of, of major denominations, pastors. A lot of their issues used to not intersect with the government, but now the government seems to come in, whether you're the Little Sisters of the Poor or you're right. Hobby Lobby, all of a sudden you're in the middle of a controversy for just trying to live out your faith. Right, and, 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 and having said that, um, I've read where some evangelical leaders have, have grappled with the, the notion that uh, there's faith and, and their personal beliefs, and then there's the country and some issues that are becoming larger and larger, for instance, the safety of our nation, the safety of our citizens. How do, how do you reconcile those things when you may have some, some things gnawing at you uh, about the decision that you have to make when you go into the, to the voting booth? Well, I think all those leaders do what every American does, which is what are the issues or the things that you think are the most important to you? And I, I mean, I think safety is obviously one of the most important things. It's one of the most important jobs of our government. Uh, so I think that would be important to many of those leaders. Uh, but there are other issues that they deal with, uh, a lot of these moral issues or the social issues. The Supreme Court hits a lot of those. So right. his answers about the justices, how he's Were you happy his... with that list, the justice, his, his list of potential Supreme Court justices? Yeah, he picked, uh, and most people saw that came right from the Federal Society and the Heritage right. Foundation, very conservative. He announced today something that I, I don't think he's announced before, which he's going to add four or five names to that list, which I want to look at those people as well. But I know a number of the judges he put on that list, excellent, top conservative right. judges from around the country. Kelly, maybe it's nitpicking, but it wasn't a Christian Post moments before you came on. And some people took exception to Donald Trump when he talked about uh, the notion of we pray for our leaders, no matter who they are, no matter what political party, saying we can't be politically correct and say pray for all of our leaders because all of our leaders are selling Christianity down the tubes and selling evangelicals down the tubes. How was that received? Uh, I mean, I don't think that was said in the broader meeting. I think from what I hear that was said in a smaller meeting uh, with some people. Uh, I think people there are the people who believe you pray for everybody, yeah. even your enemies. Amen. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kelly. Really <laughs> Thank appreciate you. it.